So it's going to be funny because a computer scientist is going to talk about food. And uh, my name is Alexander, uh, I'm from South of Germany and I will present you our very young company. And we talk, when we talk about food, we have to listen to what the specialists in food say. And this is the biggest, comp yeah, like Nestle says, uh, in Germany in 2030, the most important thing about food will be transparency. In fact, the knowledge of beef, beef steaks, geographic biography tomorrow. And we are here in South Germany, Austria, North of Italy, France. And so we think about this factor a little bit different. We think transparency is very important, yes. But we have another market, uh, like Nestle tries to make the global supply chain very transparent. But when you look at the traditional producers of food, you already have these transparent supply chains. And you have a lot of farmers, you have a lot of resellers, you have a lot of uh, manufacturers, and this are hundred thousand of hundred thousands of companies in uh, yeah, middle Europe and we wanted to create a solution how they can make uh, marketing with their transparency and we focus on uh, on this market which is very poorly digitized most of them don't even have an internet page um, they say I don't have nothing to hide which means to us they want to make marketing with their transparency and they have very traditional supply change changes which means that they are very very short and they are very uh, it's almost <coughs> happening within 100 kilometers so we uh, you can see for example we already have 80 customers we started in January you can see these are one of our clients I just copied this from our internet platform and we wanted to to make a solution how bring consumers of food who are uh, Come, we are looking at the smartphone all the day, you can see it say, and producers who just want to make um, their food. And so we are collecting all these data from our customers and combining them, and you can see, um, like Nestle said, the whole supply chain, for example, from this burger in a restaurant in our public area. How do we earn money? Um, we have a subscription model, a company pay between 20 euros a month or 330 euros in a month and we already have 80 customers which means that we have more than about a thousand companies the data from south companies and it, this is the b2b focus and the b2c focus is everybody who is eating like you and me everybody and this is regionality and transparency gets more and more important in the future and our business model is what, uh, very awarded and also we won a European award of, in the, of ecology. This is our plan. The platform works very good in our pilot area in Eastern Bavaria and now we want to scale this up here in the whole Europe. And we are looking for seed funding like 670,000 euros and uh, make this whole platform uh, accessible in yeah, first Germany, Austria, then Italy and so on. And we have a lot of network effects in this platform, we can see it already, so um, we want to start now. Um, Why should, we should talk, we are um, a very high technology focused founders team. Um, we digitize a very analog business sector and also a biodiverse ecosystem and sustainable food and regionality in local food is getting more and more important. And so, thank you for your attention, and now I'm open for questions. Yeah, so essentially you're saying we know what we eat. Yeah, um, if you're using this platform, you know what you eat, you know what's inside, you know who delivered 
something what's inside yeah and that would go to farmers markets and things like that but yeah for example you, you, you would have a verification <coughs> process to say at the verification it's it's easy like uh, somebody asked uh, it's, it's like a network effect on our platform if i say for example i'm a butcher i get my animals from uh, this farmer the supply chain gets um, as, as uh, yeah it's, it's true if the farmer says yes i sold him one you know what i mean yes system, yeah. Yeah. Who are the paying customers? Yeah, like these guys I showed you before, like small farmers, some manufacturing, bakeries, breweries, alone. just in Bavaria there are more than 1,000 breweries, distilleries, and... Uh, but the beer bottle is branded, right? Yeah, they can if they want. When I buy a Heineken, I, I know it's from Heineken, right? Or yeah, I'm missing something. Yeah, that's the that's difference in the, uh, in the market. For example, um, in Germany you don't have, in the south, of, you have a lot of very small companies who are producing food, like breweries, but also like these small farmers and bakeries and so on. And these are our customers, not the big ones. Okay. Last question. I haven't heard about the data. I want to look to somebody saying, you know, mine might be from here, it's, you know, Free range and the yes. goes to free range and supply. Yet uh, the supplier has to certificate this, and if this is not true, it is highly illegal in the food sector. You cannot say that this is in your in your product and this is or the other way around. I don't know. And everybody who's using our platform is like uh, is his own. Uh, yeah, he's responsible for responsible for this data and also has to. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.